Hello everybody and welcome to uh, Dan and Adam TV. I've just uh, set off from uh, Quarry Park and I thought today I'd head to Thorn Moors. I've done the Hatfield Moors quite a few times. Never ventured over to uh, Thorn Moors. Uh, so it's going to be a loop. Thorn Moors crawl and back about 30 miles. And this is the new link road to the M180 services from Stainforth. I thought I'd give it a whirl. I set off. Blue sky. Gorgeous. <laughs> now clouds have come. It's windy. And again it is March. I'm just hoping that the, uh, the wind dies down and the clouds uh, fly by. So you can see ahead of me is the old uh, Hatfield Colliery in Stainforth. <laughs> I think it's one of the last to be shut in Doncaster. It's, uh, it's a shame. I think all this area here is designated to be residential. But it does make it easy for me living in Hatfield to get onto the motorway. In terms of driving right round uh, Hatfield past the Bean Tree, I just cut through this way and uh, take the road to the services uh, and onto the motorway. Alright, continuing on the new uh, link road to the uh, M1 uh, AC services, and within, oh gosh, 200 yards. Bloody leaves are, are out and green. Rapeseed is flowering. Donnie Lads changed his top for a blue one. The magic of video. Now I'm hoping that uh, the bridal way where the services is still available and uh, I can cut across onto or into Thorn. No one all over me today, but it's uh, gosh, it's a good year ago or so, well, more than a year ago before the Lad uh, channel came up. We were coming down here, Noel in front, and uh, you can see how the uh, vehicles. I've left big trench marks on the tyres. Oh, one day they were full of water. Noel being Noel was plodded on and uh, went down. Half of a tip, of our handlebars. <laughs> Wet through on one side. Uh, but he's not with us today. Something on. But uh, yeah, you don't really want to be going down here through the puddles, not really knowing the depth of them. I'm 18 here and it should bring us out on the bridge at uh, on Thorn before the uh, golf course. The only big concern is up here, a few houses, some bloody dogs. Don't really want to be bit today, so I want to get closer, put the bloody foot down, and get going. I got me out racing, I'm expecting a bloody lurch to jump out. Whew. Right, here we go, under the M18, heading towards Thorn now. It's 
come into Thorn, side of the new flyover, the new flyover, flyover bridge at Thorn, and uh, oh, can't cross it. The bridge is uh, oh, let's go this way, though, aren't we? <laughs> Bugger! Can't cross the bloody uh, bridge. <sighs> Never mind. I'll go this way. What a beautiful day, all the barges on the canal. Another few months, or weeks even, all this stuff will have been at least uh, waist high. say as I've ever been down here. It's a world worn path, that is a fact. Oh, isn't it? Brings us out of the little uh, pond. What does it? Riding through the streets of uh, Thorn Residence, right past the town. An old uh, windmill up here, falling into disrepair. There's a big tree growing out of it. <laughs> I don't know if uh, GoPro can pick it up, but it's, uh, it's a shame. Yeah, board it up. Welcome to Moran's Gateway to the Moors. The Moors, that's where we're after. Let the sat nav starts working properly. Thorn moors. I don't know if I want that one or not. Now we're on the Grange Road through more ends. Now for those un, uh, unfamiliar with Doncaster, there's a uh, coal mine here, the Thorn uh, Colliery. I don't know too much about it, but uh, all I know is that uh, it was never in operation very much. Not in my uh, time anyway. It was really flooding or something. I'm assuming this is the road to the old pit head. 
we'll go down here. I've got all these young trees. Can't imagine them uh, planting all that if it was, it was uh, an old wasteland. Let us follow this road round. find any remnants of the old pit. Let's see. Bloody windy. Solar panels now. <laughs> Look at all these solar panels. Oh, that's a novel one, isn't it? Convert the pit to a bloody solar panel generator. <laughs> No more coal. Ah, well. We'll go right here then. Yeah, I can still see the old concrete uh, base. Yeah, massive. Massive. Pretty old. Yeah, all right. Bloody cat's eyes here. Cat's eyes at the road. <laughs> Sat nav's uh, cuckoo. I'll just go down here. I need to be over to the left, I can see the windmills, so let's have to see where we go, won't we? Let's see where uh, a busy place. I don't know if that's good or bad. So by all accounts, the slurry on the waist of the pit is to the right. It's not that there was much because it was bloody uh, never really open so any length of time. So at least I've got a path here. Looks promising. The countryside to my left and the moors. Yeah. What a beautiful Sunday morning. An accent blaring off in my headphones. So obviously it's a designated route because of gates. I don't see many signs though. So I think it'll have to be a visit back here again as well. So this one, uh, Thorn Moors, is part of the Humberhead Peatlands, the uh, infamous uh, Humberhead or Hatfield Moors that everybody goes to. Now there's a little coffee shop. So I'm actually trying to get on here somehow. He says go straight on, turn left. No, we'll do that then. We'll do that then. I don't know if you can see on the uh, GoPro, but the path originally had wood chippings on it. I need to give it some uh, substance but underneath it's uh, very spongy. It must be a bloody nightmare it wet this. But it is a moor. I'm sure I'm going to come up some oh, shite mud. <laughs> oh, I can see why there's uh, some boards here then. Oh god. A few boards here then to walk on. Not 
not at the Dolby Forest boards. Very interesting. I'll tell you what, I've been on this now a while. Started off, oh, this is lovely. But you can't help thinking <laughs> it's quite spooky, actually. Quite as much, it might just be me. And you're on your tod. Uh, put such thoughts out of your head, don't it, lad? <sighs> Which other nutter's going to be around here? Exactly. Gosh, I can't believe how damp some of this is. We haven't had rain for weeks. God knows what it would like when it's pissed it down. A bomb, but someone's had a bomb in here then. Bit of a fire. Ooh, sun's out. Oh God, it's a bit going on legs this. It's a good workout for the legs. Take it right here, it says. Take it left up here. Guys, it's a bloody leg burner, this, and it's uh, relatively dry. I don't think I'll be coming down here if it's uh, rained. Guys. How the hell I'm going here? <laughs> there you go, bloody lost. That's your final. Just following it, uh, tracks and uh, sat nav that got other ideas. Yeah, that's it. There's no way I'm going off these chuffing tracks. Let's keep going down here, lad. I think I'm going to get bloody lost in here. Well, I have no idea where I am. Well, I know where I am, Thorn Moor. But obviously, uh, I'm not on a designated route that I thought I was following. So this is east. And what I know is, Crowell is east. So all I can do is head this way. I can't get a bloody reception on my phone. It's kind out on uh, Google Maps. But, uh, ooh, there's a sign up here. See what this has to say. There's that many bloody uh, intricate little paths. Well, it's not a sign, is it? It's just a chuffing marker. <laughs> Dickhead. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Fucking. God. Let's just stop here and have, have a drink. A lot better track now. I think there's a right turn in up here. I tell you, it's a vast, massive uh, place. Absolutely huge. So if you do come here, you really need to <laughs> bring a map and uh, just uh, make sure you've got some sort of uh, provision to get out of here. Because I lost my sat nav uh, bloody. Uh, a long, long time ago, my directions. But it's enjoyable, it's beautiful, that's what counts. Apparently, now I'm at Crawl Moor. I've come out of uh, Thorn Moor into Crawl, so at least I'm in the right direction. He says, seem to be on the outskirts of the moors now. <laughs> Still no idea where I'm going. It's, uh, 
least the path's a bit uh, firmer. Just the openness over there, so. No idea. Keep going, Donny lad. The joys of exploration. Seems civilization at last. Well, tarmac road at least, anyway. <laughs> the tarmac road. Crawl must be to the left then. Oh, well, that was an experience. It was nice actually going through there. It's really easy to know where the shit I'm going. Very useful. Here we are, welcome to Crowmores. If <laughs> you are here, chuff me. Tell me about it. Uh, cool. Yep. Excellent. Let's see, we are in Kroll. If you're unfamiliar with Kroll, it's between Doncaster and uh, Scunthorpe on the A19. Just before you get to Gunness. Market town. It has the East, uh, East Yorkshire uh, architecture and brickwork about it. Oldly worldly, but not in a thatch roof type of way. Any end, we'll continue over this bridge. We'll end up taking us to uh, Belton, but we're going left here. <sighs> we're looking for, and we're looking for a. Uh, what we're looking for, <laughs> can't really remember. <laughs> Where's this going? Let's be around here then. Yeah, to the right. I don't know if GoPro can pick this up, but we'll see. Well, the, uh, this could be a power station to the right. And then all the tiny tubby windmills. All turning. That's a glorious week. Today it's a bit overcast and uh, a bit nippy, and definitely a bit of a breeze. It's just good to be out though. Yeah, it looks like we're joining onto the road now. We've all uh, left into Crowell. I do believe we're going straight on. Been off the uh, the road a while now, so we're back on the uh, tracks. Dyke on his right, and the beautiful rapeseed, all beautiful bright yellow. Not good if you got bloody hay fever, mind you. But 
that's uh, crawls over there to my left. And the Atfield Moors is over there to my right. <laughs> so just doing a loop back round, I think, from what I remember. Again, it was another route that I planned last year. Created it, saved it. Uh, but was waiting for the weather to get better because I knew going through the moors it wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be very nice. So I can't remember the exact route. So as long as I'm back on my sat nav now, sat nav will take me back. I think we're heading back now anyway. So probably done about 15 miles. It's about a 30 mile loop. Probably a bit more after getting lost in the thorn moors. Looks like we're joining a road now, so that's the end of the uh, bridle way, it's our map road. It's not the same one a bloody come down is it? <laughs> it's all the same round here. Coming off the road, back onto some uh, trails. And what's up here? So much uh, openness, flat. I thoroughly enjoying this. And to say, I've never been around here before. I'm quite happy that I have today. I think I'll have to explore around here as well. There's so many places to explore. I keep saying that when I visit these th uh, places, which, you know, is a good thing. Keeps me active, keeps the channel active, and hopefully gives you. Uh, some ideas and inspiration yourself. I'll go left here then. This bridle path takes them through to Medge Hall, which is on the A19 uh, Doncaster Scunthorpe Road. And uh, to my right there. Oh! We're mills. Turning round, there's a bit of a breeze today. Nice wide bridle paths, love it. All flat, a bit dusty. Can't believe we're uh, heading towards the end of April and uh, had uh, very little rain, so much April showers, but. I suppose this winter we've had a deluge of water, haven't we? It's been boggy. I do remember going out on the bike for rides after ride, it was just horrendous. Even the guys that I follow, like uh, Gibbs MTB and uh, Electric Crotch Rocket, you know, they were all uh, dealing with the mud. And now it's dry, not complaining. Can't wait to get my shorts on, that won't be long now. Beginning of eight, shorts are on. Right. Oh yeah, I know where I am. Canals on the other side. I've always uh, come up from the left. I'll go over then. Oh, okay, we can help. I think we'll take a little ride down there, I think. That's what we'll do. Got my 1980s music on. A wamp. If you're gonna do it, do it right, right, do it with me. That one.
Yeah, right then. Yeah, still pretty good. You know, when I was younger, I used to think fishing was so shit and boring. Maybe because I was full of energy. Now, <laughs> I think I'd enjoy it. Just sat there. I think, yeah, I'd enjoy it. So much uh, luggage to take, isn't there? Look. Are you going for a swim? Are you going for a swim? <laughs> All these windmills and the yellow rapeseed. I know they look a bloody monstrosity, but sometimes they just look so peaceful. I don't know, not have them on the landscape, but uh, in a way, they have their own natural beauty. moment let's get back into reality so on the KB canal then been down this before it's the uh, Isle of Axon Greenway I think I did a video of it last year when it was chuffy and windy as hell absolutely horrendous and I rode from Scunny to Guinness uh, Kate Kate Kirkby is it and then uh, this way onto Thorn, I can see in the distance now Thorn Water Tower. Seems like uh, it was a week away since I set off. Seems a very long ride this. I don't know how many miles I've done so far. Must be about 20, which isn't a great deal. Are you alright? It's got to be a whisper of gold. Come off the canal now, taking this road. If we continue on it, it'd bring us out at uh, I think it's the Black Bull on the A. Oops, excuse me, on the A18. I don't think we're going to go that far. I think we might just cut across. We will see. 22 miles done, and I still haven't seen any deer. I didn't like to say, I thought, you know, I might see some deer today, but it uh, hasn't been the case. One day I'll catch some deer and uh, the GoPro will be that far. <laughs> Won't be to pick it up because it'll be that far away. So we're on uh, Claybank Road. Headed up towards Double Bridges Road, which will take us then to Thorn, South Thorn. But we're going to take a right. We're going to take a right. Oh, wrong well, about bloody right, left. God, shit. Left, left, Donny lad, left. That whisper's gone to your head. All right, let's sit uh, the roundabout at uh, Dubbuff now. So we're going to left, up over the bridge over the M180, and we'll take a, uh, a path and join us on to uh, Thorn, Hatfield to Thorn Road. Nope. Let's get over here then. 
Get onto Tudworth. Oh. I've only ever come up this way, so this is a change for me. So this uh, path will take us onto the uh, Hatfield uh, Thorn Road, past the uh, Kingswood Golf Course, and then uh, we're going to head up uh, over the M18 again and uh, by the old Kamikaze, which is no more. We've changed it. And then uh, Faster Marina and uh, back to Quarry Park. It's all in all about 30 miles. I think I'll end the video there. But thanks a lot for watching, guys. It's my uh, first time to uh, Thorn and uh, Crawl Moors. Thoroughly enjoyed this ride. Very much all new for me. If you've uh, just come across me, please subscribe. And don't forget to uh, comment and share. And uh, check me out on uh, Facebook on Donny Lad MTB. And this uh, route will be recorded and saved on my Strava account again, which is Donny Lad MTB. So until next time, thanks for watching and uh, catch you soon. Bye bye.